So what's good? What's good, everybody? What's good, uh, YouTube family? This your boy, Coach Dante, in the building with you guys, man. Please comment, like, and subscribe on this video. Uh, thank you guys for always supporting the channel. Really appreciate you guys. Let's get right into the mock draft. This is called the uh, 2023 NBA mock draft. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to be breaking down, doing uh, picking for every team in the first round, especially. We already know the draft is next Thursday, so it's time for y'all to get to know some of these prospects. But y'all uh, interact, you know, in the comment section, uh, what players that you think, what players you disagree with going in these places, or what places would you have these uh, players going? And so, and to for our further ado, let's get right into it. So, the number one overall pick, we already know who it is. No questions asked. It's Victor Wimbiama. He is the uh, he is the, definitely going to be the future of the San Antonio Spurs. Uh, they're not answering phone calls with uh, with him at all. They're uh, they're not accepting any trades. Uh, Victor Wimbiama is a guy that's seven foot five that can shoot, that can uh, put the ball on the floor. That's uh, two twenty. He's really good. The only real question about him is his durability. Is his durability? That's it. Check Holmgren came in with the same answers. His durability. I think Victor Wembanyama is going to be a great player in this league. He's going to be a very good defender, and I'm gonna be. I'm impressed with Victor Wembanyama. Uh, so he's the number one overall pick. Number two, I think this guy's the second best player in the draft. We're gonna go with Brandon Miller. I think Brandon Miller is the second best player in this draft uh, class. Uh, this guy can do everything. He reminds me of a Paul George prototype guy, six foot nine, can shoot the basketball, uh, can put the ball on the floor. He's very good, man. I know he got in a little bit of a arc in trouble in Alabama, but you know they put him on the floor knowing his situation is a, a innocent vibe. But this guy can step in. He can definitely help uh, the Charlotte Hornets uh, immediately. So now this pick becomes tricky. Because it's teams that can move up to come up to get this uh, third overall pick. Uh, Damian Lillard uh, voiced his frustration that he wants to compete for a title. And this is where uh, it, it will be caused for this number three overall pick. But we're not going to do no trades. I don't do no trades in my draft. So right now we're going to take Scoot Henderson off the board. Uh, I think he will be a big part of that backcourt with him and Anthony Simons. And I'm going to assume, even though Portland said they're not going to trade, they're not going to trade Damian Lillard right now. They're not going to trade him right now, but they will. They don't. That doesn't mean they're not going to trade him in the offseason. So I'm going to go with Scoot Henderson at number three. I really want my Rockets to end up with him. Uh, but at the end of the day, I would love to end up with any of the top three guys or uh, top uh, down here at the bottom like a Cam Whitmore or something like that. But Asar Ahmed Thompson, Ahmed Thompson, athletic, Really strong, uh, six foot seven. The only real question about Ahmed Thompson is his shooting ability. That's the only question about Ahmed Thompson uh, right here. He's uh, working on that in the uh, G League overtime practices. He's going to be fine. He can do everything. Playmaker. He's a very great defender. Uh, he's a very good um, shot blocker as a guard, as a six seven wing. He's going to be special. And with that, if he gets a jump shot and makes it over 33 percent, he's going to be unstoppable. Now, all of a sudden with that, with that, you switch Kevin Porter over to the two point to the two guard. This can be a dangerous team. Plus the 60 million. My Houston Rockets have look out for the Rockets. Don't be surprised if they be a playing tournament team next year. They'd be one of the worst teams in the league to come up to being a relevant team. You may you don't going to have something to say about that. But other than that, the very next pick for Detroit. Shout out to my boy Detroit fan. We're going to go with Cam Whitmore. Cam Whitmore out of Villanova right here. Villanova is getting some love right here, man. Cam Whitmore is very athletic. The uh, can shoot the basketball, six foot seven, 232 pounds. Uh, this probably was the first freshman for uh, to be one and done for a long time in uh, for a long time in uh, college for Villanova. So Cam Whitmore is the pick right here for the Detroit Pistons, and Key going to be happy about that. All of the Villanova fans about that. Cam Whitmore is an excellent player, and I think he's a great fit on side, on side of Cade Cunningham and on side of uh, Jaden Ivey. 
put him in that four, uh, four uh, pot, small four position. He's gonna light it up, and he can also he also has some very good athleticism. But number uh, six overall pick, we have we have the Orlando Magic. They were probably one of the most improved teams in the league. You know, most people didn't expect them to win thirty games. They got the reigning defending rookie of the year at Pablo Van Caro. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, Asar Thompson. Asar Thompson right here. The same thing as his brother, his twin brother, six foot seven. Don't have to explain. He can do everything. Him, the everything his brother, a man can do. Hassar Thompson can do. There's also a chance that the Rockets can go off of them. They both the same. They both games the same. I think Hassar is a better shooter. Hassar is a better shooter at thirty percent. He's a little bit more of a better shooter. But they get the uh, guy. They can come in, tribute, play defense. Same thing as his brother. They got the same game pretty much. Uh, other than that. We got the Indiana Pacers. We're going to go with uh, Jairus Walker from the Indiana Pacers. We're going to go with Jairus Walker. I think Jairus Walker is going to uh, be good for them. Uh, Jairus Walker is the most NBA, to me, is the most NBA ready prospect right now in this draft. Jairus Walker, six foot seven. He's a power forward. He can also stretch it out and shoot it. He plays for the, that tough Houston Cougars team. And I think he gets it done at this moment right here. So, Good job right here. Now, again, this is kind of tricky for the uh for the uh Washington Wizards. I'm gonna go with Taylor Hendricks from the Washington Wizards. Taylor Hendricks is a big uh is a big is a center. I think they lack center, but I also think they're gonna be lacking a guard because Bradley Beal is gonna be traded soon in the summer. Six foot nine, two hundred and ten pounds can finish above the rim. It's real good. Uh, Taylor Hendricks is the pick for me for the Washington Wizards right here. So number uh, nine pick, the number nine pick of the draft, we got the Utah Jazz. And the Utah Jazz, uh, they they they're hurting at the point guard position. So I'm going to I'm going to go with uh, Anthony Black at the point guard position for the uh, for the Utah Jazz. Anthony Black. Six foot seven, six foot seven guard. He got very basketball, high basketball IQ. Played for Arkansas. Uh, his shooting is a, a weakness of his game, but Anthony Black, playmaker, rebounder, solid defender for Anthony Black. And Anthony Black is really, really good, man. Uh, so other than that, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Uh, the Dallas Mavericks, they're lacking of a center a little bit. They're lacking of a center. I think uh, this is going to be a surprise pick right here. So we're going to go with uh, Derek Lively. We're going to go with Derek Lively right here for uh, the Duke Blue Devils. Derek Lively, I think the Mavericks uh, need a center. Uh, I like I like Derek Lively, a rim protector right here. I think he, he gives them some instant rim protector, instant uh, defensive possessioning right here. And I really like I really like uh I really like this move. I really uh like this move for uh the uh Dallas Mavericks. So for the Chicago Bulls, the Chicago Bulls, uh I think they need some scoring. I think they need some more shooting. Grady Dick, give me Grady Dick, the best shooter in this draft for me out of Kansas. I call him D I call him uh G D for a reason because of the last name. So Grady Dick, I think, uh is a great is a great uh uh person in play for me. For, for that uh spot for the Chicago Bulls. Now the OKC Thunder. OKC Thunder, one of the best young teams in college basketball. Uh I really like this uh move by OKC. OKC got a ton of picks, but I'm going to give them Jordan Hawkins. Jordan Hawkins from uh the defending national champions. Um uh Yukon Huskies uh can shoot the basketball six foot five. Can shoot off screens, can shoot off the catch. Uh, he's got some sneaky athleticism. He's not a really good defender, but he competes on the defensive side of the ball. But he's also have no hesitant in shooting the ball. So Jordan Hawkins is a great is one of is one is gonna be one of the top players in this trial. So the next pick we're gonna go with, we're gonna go with uh for the Toronto Raptors. We're gonna go with uh Keontae George from the Toronto Raptors, the guard out of Baylor. Uh, he's an instant scorer. He's got a lot of playmaking upside. Now his decision making is not really. Uh, sometimes can be really tragic. Six foot four, two hundred twenty pounds. Got some athleticism. 
but he's a very scoring uh, threat on the very scoring threat. And this will be a good fit at the two guard position with Scotty Barnes and ready to get that rebuild set. So number 14 pick, we got the uh, New Orleans Pelicans. The New Orleans Pelicans, I think they need another guard. I'm going to go with Nick Smith Jr. Nick Smith Jr. is a guy that's going to uh, come in and provide some shooting for him. Uh, he can also play the point guard. Junior Point guard, he was teammates with Anthony Black at uh, Arkansas. And, again, he stayed out for a while because he was hurt. He stayed out for a while because he was hurt a little bit. He was hurt a lot. He came back in the tournament and he looked it really, really bad for the uh he looked it really, really bad for the uh for the uh Arkansas Razorbacks. So other than that, uh we got the Atlanta Hawks. We got the Atlanta Hawks right here. We're gonna go with Casein Wallace. Casein Wallace out of uh Kentucky. Casein Wallace is a very solid point guard. Um uh, I think he's really good. Uh, he he definitely averaged uh, 11 points. He can shoot the three point ball, six foot three, very explosive. Casey Wallace is a really good pick right here for the uh, for for the uh, you know Atlanta Hawks. So the very next pick we got the Utah Jazz, and we're going to go with Kobe Buffin. Kobe Buffin, the guard from uh, from uh, Michigan, the guard from Michigan. Kobe Buffin is really good. Uh, he, he, he can be a, a borderline starter day one, shoots 34, uh, 36% from the three point line. And I really like this guy. I really like this guy, Kobe Buffin. He can, with the right system, six foot four, got sneaky athleticism. Uh, Jawan Howard developed a great guard over that. So Kobe Buffin is a pretty good guard to have right here. So, uh, we have, so we, uh, have another pick. We got for the Los Angeles Lakers, for the Los Angeles Lakers right here. Uh, Los Angeles Lakers uh, need a small forward, need a center. So we're going to go with Bryce Sensabaugh. Bryce Sensabaugh from Ohio State for uh, the Lakers. For the Lakers, I think he's going to be a very good pick for Bryce Sensabaugh. Bryce Sensabaugh is really, uh, really, really good. Uh, I like the move. like the move for Bryce Sensabaugh right here. So the number uh so we got the number 18 spot. We got the Miami Heat. We got the Miami Heat coming up. So for the Miami Heat, uh we're going to uh give them another center. We're going to give a give them an, uh, another shooting guard. We're going to give them another shooting guard right here. We're going to go with Jalen Hood Hand. Jalen Hood Hand at the shooting guard spot right here. Uh, he's a pretty good score. Jalen Hood hand is pretty good score. Pretty, pretty good score, man. Miami would get a steal with this guy. Uh, Miami would definitely get a steal with this, with this guy right here. Jalen Hood hand. It's pretty good, man. It's pretty good. Really pretty good. So again, Miami is getting a uh, solid pick right here. So Jalen Hood hand is the pick for me for the Miami, for the Miami heat. So, uh, and he also can score him and Trace Jackson Davis uh led the team for the Miami uh for the uh uh Indiana uh Indi Indiana for Indiana they in their loss to the uh Miami Hurricanes over there but again we got the Golden State Warriors the Golden State Warriors uh need more like a small four they can you definitely use a uh, point guard at that position as well. We're gonna go with uh, they're gonna we're gonna go with Jet Howard. Jet Howard at the small forward position. Uh, it's rumors that they are trading Jonathan Kaminga as well. So Jet Howard will be a very solid pick right here for the uh, Golden State Warriors for Jet Howard. For Jet Howard, six foot eight, two hundred and uh, fifteen pounds, can also shoot the basketball. So Jet Howard will be a good uh, pick right here. And for my Houston Rockets, I think, to be honest, we're going to trade this pick, but we're not doing no trades. So I'm going to pick with this pick, and I'm going to pick uh, forward uh, out of uh, Iowa, Keegan Murray. Keegan Murray is the pick for me uh, for the uh, Houston Rockets. Uh, Left-hander uh, can shoot. His brother plays for the Sacramento Kings. Uh, Chris Murray is the pick for me. 
at number 20, even though I think the Houston Rockets are going to trade that pick, trade this pick away. I don't think I don't think they definitely I don't think they keep this pick at all. I don't really think they keep this pick at all. So Chris Murray is the pick for me. So we got the Brooklyn Nets. They got back to back pits. The Brooklyn Nets got back to back pits right here. And the Brooklyn Nets, the Brooklyn Nets pretty much uh, gave away Kevin Durant, traded Kevin Durant. They did end up trading. They did end up trading, uh, end up trading their guard, uh, Kyrie Irving. So they do need more of a small forward slash power forward. Uh, so they got back the pat, bat picks here. We're gonna go with Gigi Jackson, Gregory Jackson out of uh South Carolina. We're gonna go with Gigi Jackson, uh, Gregory Jackson out, out, uh, out of South Carolina. So we're gonna go with Gigi Jackson, it's the pick right here, and also they got another pick right here, six foot nine. Can very can shoot the basketball very good. They got another pick right here, so we're gonna also we're gonna also pick them up. A uh, power forward, a power forward, uh, pretty much. We're gonna pick them up a power forward, a pretty uh good power forward, and we're going to uh we're going to go we're going to go with uh Tristan Vucevic, Tristan Vucevic. We're gonna go with Tristan Vucevic for the Brooklyn Nets. Right there, he had a solid combine. Tristan Vucevic had a solid combine as well. Uh, I think he he's played good enough to get to that late stages of the first round for Tristan Vucevic. So I like Tristan Vucevic right there at thirty five. Uh, get him at twenty at possibly twenty two. So I like that pick. So uh, we got uh, the Portland Trailblazers with their second pick at twenty three. Uh, so. We're going to go with at for the Portland Trailblazers. We're gonna go for the Portland Trailblazers uh, right here. We're going to go with. Uh, I think they need more of a shooting guard. I think they need more of a shooting guard. Put some shooting on the outside. So we're going to go with Ryan Repair. Ryan Repair for the ankle breakers out of the ankle breakers. Uh, pretty much out of the breakers. I mean, not the ankle breakers. The breakers. Um, he's six foot. He's uh, six foot seven. 193 pounds. He's going to add some shooting at that shooting guard position right now. So Ryan repair right here for the, uh, for the Portland trailblazers. So the Sacramento Kings right here have the pick. They had a solid season this year for the uh, Sacramento Kings. Let's give them another shooting guard, man. Let's give them a six, six, uh, 217 pound shooting guard. Uh, we're gonna go with Derek Whitehead. Derek Whitehead out of uh, Duke for the Sacramento Kings. Derek Whitehead, someone that can score the basketball, that can shoot the basketball as well. So um, we're gonna uh, go with Derek Whitehead. That's an excellent fit for them. Young rookie who's gonna be able to come off the bench, who's gonna be able to get in the rotation, shoot the basketball, and also put the ball on the floor. So where we got? Uh, so here we go. We have. Also, we have also uh, the Memphis Grizzlies. So the Memphis Grizzlies, uh, they need also they're, they're good. They're gonna they, they're high on small four, which is they got Desmond Bain, and we're going to we're going to go with uh, Vale Kuda Vale Kuda Vale Vale Kuda Vale for the Memphis Grizzlies, a six foot six forward for uh, the Memphis Grizzlies. So Valet Kulavale. So again, we got the uh Indiana Pacers. Indiana Pacers. Uh again, they got a very good team over here. Let's give them a uh let's give them a, a shooting guard slash small forward. Uh let's get them Kobe, Kobe Jones. Kobe Jones. Kobe Jones, the 6'5 guard. 6'5 guard out of Xavier. Uh, led the Xavier to the lead eight before losing to my uh, Texas Longhorns. So uh, good job right here by the Indiana Pacers. This is a good pick. Might not be playing right away. They start off at the G League for uh, some uh, for some reason. They start off at the G League to get a little time, but he's he's going to be a very good uh, pickup for the uh, for the Indiana Pacers. Now for the uh, Charlotte Hornets. 
They kind of struggle at getting the center position right, but I also think they struggle at the power forward position. So for the Charlotte Hornets, they got Brandon Miller. They also get his teammate, Noah Clowney. Noah Clowney from the Charlotte Hornets will be drafted by the Charlotte Hornets. Noah Clowney, 6'10", uh, 210 pounds for the uh, Charlotte Hornets. Noah Clowney. So Noah Clowney is the pick for the Charlotte Hornets. So the next pick we got is the Utah Jazz. Is I believe the Utah Jazz, uh, which is they got from the 76ers. So this is the 76ers pick right here, basically, that went to Utah. This is the 76ers pick that basically went to Utah. Y'all see that thou six fan all of you tired of seeing that right now. Uh we're gonna go with Maxwell Lewis. We're gonna go with Maxwell Lewis. From um for, from the Utah Jazz for Utah Jazz we're gonna go with Maxwell Lewis Maxwell Lewis uh six foot seven two hundred and two hundred uh six foot seven he's two hundred and seven pounds uh right now for Maxwell Lewis very great uh very solid player average seventeen points per game for uh Maxwell Lewis So we got the Indiana Pacers. The Indiana Pacers, again, got another pick. So we're going to go with – this is Boston pick that Indiana got. We're going to go with James Ninja. Ninja. James Ninja uh, for the Indiana Pacers. So James Ninja is the pick for the Indiana Pacers. So the last pick of the first round and of this mock draft. We have the Los Angeles Clippers. The Bucks got that was the Bucks pick. Now it goes to the Los Angeles Clippers. We're going to go with Brandon Powitzki. Brandon Powitzki for the for the uh, Los Angeles Clippers. Brandon Powitzki right here. Uh, he's a very good high versatile point guard, left hander, very good shooter. Um, congratulations to Brandon Powitzki. Will be drafted by the. Uh, um, you no know, LA Clippers. So shout out to y'all guys. My uh mock draft. Man, y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section below, man. Uh like I said, I'm gonna maybe plan on doing another one uh a day before the draft. A day before the draft, but make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe, man. Of what y'all think about the about the uh picks, man. Let me know. Let me know who would y'all pick, and that's the same scenario, man. It's not easy picking these guys. Any one of these guys can go early, go late, go somewhere, man. But let me know in the comment section. Comment, like, and subscribe, and let me know what you think about this mock draft. Thank you, guys. I'm out. Uh, peace out.